Hello, welcome back to the allotment. It's Sunday morning and it's a beautiful morning and I've been on the plot since 10 o'clock and I've had it all to myself for about an hour or two and then just loads of people turned up so I couldn't film a lot because there were there was a lot of talking going on but um, I'll just show you what I've been up to. in the last of my polyanthus. So I've put some in this bed and I've put the rest outside the gate. I think they look rather nice there, especially against the black. Now as you can see I've packed them in, so I will have to take a few out in about a year's time, but I quite like that way of doing things. And the daffodil bulbs will start and shoot through them and give a very good display in a matter of, what, eight weeks? Now in front of the shed, I've got this bed. I've decided to make this an acid bed. So in this bed will be ericaceous compost. And the first thing that I've put in is the magnolia. And as you can see, my new plant labels that I've bought, just like the RHS. I find it's quite good, especially with filming, when I'm walking around, to have the plant labels there. I've been using the software Grow Veg over the last few days just to plan my plot and get the best out of it. And at this top section here, I've decided, it had potatoes last year, but I've decided I want to do quite a few more flowers this year. So I'm going to make this as a flower border. So the fence will go back up and paint it black at some point and grow sweet peas in front of it. And then I'm going to put a path towards the back there so I can walk down the back and we'll have flowers here. But then I don't really want to be looking at all this stuff. So I've moved the hot bin composters and now there. So all the compost bins are but uh, next door to each other. I still need to finish the, constructing this. I can't find my level at the moment. That's why I've stopped. But I'm going to move all this. Because when you sat inside the shed, you don't particularly want to see it. So whether I'm going to keep this very large composter, I don't know. Because it's never really, it's never really worked. Um, it was sent to me to, as a trial. And I think even the designer of them has decided that it wasn't cost effective and they're too big. And I haven't looked inside there for ages. See, it doesn't keep the water out even though he said it was supposed to. So I might get rid of it. So this section here will be turned over. All I need is just a few days just to dry the soil out. It's very wet. We've had rain constantly for about a, a week or two. So I've got these three beds for vegetables. And next door to it there'll be another three beds, but thinner beds. So there's lots to be getting on with. So I will uh, pop into the shed now and have a nice have a tea. To tea or not to tea? That is the question. So I've just popped over to Jim's plot and look at all this. The bluebells are sprouting so it won't be long till spring because this woodland that Jim's got it's amazing to see how it changes throughout the years and there's always a, a nice display of bluebells.
So I've put it just down there in the corner and that's where I'll erect it. But that's where we are so far. As for this, the veggie pod, I'm going to use that this year as my base for starting my cut flowers off. So that and this top bed will all be cut flowers. But everybody's gone now. And it's a bit of sun's come out, so it's not that cold yet. So I'm gonna have one final cup of tea and head off. But I'm just gonna come out and sit and just enjoy the peace and quiet. Because when you have a garden, sometimes you get so busy doing it that you don't just give your time give yourself time just to sit and enjoy it. So this is the sort of arse end, you call it, of the allotment. A place where I don't go that often. So I've put the that bin thing there. What I'm going to do now is, because I'm going to get rid of this, because I wouldn't mind proper, like, wooden bench to go there. Because that's not very good for sitting on. It's too far away from the shed to use the shed as a back. So I'm going to get rid of it and it's going to one of the plot holders down here but to be honest when you look inside with the exception of the black mesh on top everything else is from the previous owner and I haven't actually gone through it so I don't know what's in the bottom of it so I'm going to take all this stuff out put it from here into the new box bin on the other side A lot of this I could use again. It's decent. There seems to be some, uh, what you call them, like cloches. I had some of these on the last plot, but I left them behind. These are very good mushroom boxes. You can get them from the grocer, and you can, if you've got two or three, you can just stack them on top of each other. Very good for chitting potatoes and putting in onions, and things like that. Oh, look, there's even more of this stuff. found my slates. There they are. I've been trying to find these for ages. That's what winter's good for, is having a clean out. <laughs> 